I've always been the class clown, but I'm a killer. Uh, this is what I was bred to do. This is my destiny. On November 15th, I will- Jake Paul has always thrived on being the center of attention, often embracing the role of the class clown. However, his ambitions extend far beyond mere entertainment. Paul has declared himself a killer, asserting that this is his destiny and what he was bred to do. With unwavering confidence, he announced that on November 15th, he will face Mike Tyson, a legendary figure in boxing, and emerge as the face of the sport. Whether the public loves or hates him, Paul is determined to make his mark, aiming to become the world champion and secure a place in the Boxing Hall of Fame as one of the greatest to ever grace the ring. In recent developments, Jake Paul has ignited controversy by suggesting that some of Mike Tyson's past sporing sessions may have been staged. According to Paul, Tyson might have taken a dive or held back to fabricate dramatic moments, casting doubt on the authenticity of his legendary knockdowns. This claim has stirred the boxing community, with Paul asserting that Tyson's sporing footage was less genuine than it appeared. Despite the skepticism surrounding Tyson's past, Paul remains undeterred. He describes Tyson as looking exceptionally fit and strong, noting that his coaches affirm Tyson is in the best shape of his career. Paul acknowledges the challenge ahead, recognizing Tyson as the toughest opponent he has faced to date. The fight, set at heavyweight, is anticipated to be a brutal battle, with both fighters preparing rigorously. Paul emphasizes his strategy to outbox Tyson, demonstrating his capabilities and aiming for a knockout to solidify his reputation. He respects Tyson's status as one of the best ever in the sport, but believes Tyson is getting older. Paul contends that regardless of the outcome, he will have to accept the public's reaction, whether it's admiration or criticism. He sees defeating Tyson as a way to elevate his status in boxing, positioning himself as a legitimate king of the sport. The upcoming fight is expected to draw massive attention, with projections of up to $40 million in earnings. Paul envisions the event as a spectacle, to be held at the at t Stadium in Dallas, Texas, and streamed on Netflix, potentially reaching 700 million viewers worldwide. He dismisses critics who doubt his ability to compete against Tyson, asserting that defeating the former heavyweight champion would be a monumental achievement. Mike Tyson, approaching his 60s, remains a formidable opponent with a reputation for destructive power. Despite concerns about his age, Tyson has been training rigorously, aiming to return to peak form for the fight. His team emphasizes that Tyson's experience and power make him a significant threat even against a younger, rising star like Paul. Tyson has also addressed the fight's dynamics, highlighting the importance of humility and grace in defeat, traits he believes are essential but often lacking in modern fighters. The boxing community is divided on the legitimacy of the upcoming match. Purists argue that the fight is more of an entertainment spectacle than a serious athletic contest, questioning whether it benefits the sport. However, others, including some trainers and commentators, see it as a way to revive interest in boxing by pitting a modern influencer against a legendary champion. Logan Paul, Jake's brother, has expressed concerns about the potential risks involved, fearing that Tyson's power could lead to severe consequences for Jake. Despite these worries, Jake remains resolute, emphasizing his respect for Tyson and his determination to prove himself in the ring. He acknowledges the danger, but believes his training and skills will enable him to prevail. Prominent boxing trainer and commentator Teddy Atlas weighed in on the matchup, describing it as a dangerous fight for Jake Paul. Atlas praised Paul for his courage in taking on a legend like Tyson, but cautioned against underestimating Tyson's power and experience. He stressed that Tyson's formidable presence in the ring poses a real threat, even at his advanced age and advised Paul to approach the fight with the seriousness it demands. The rivalry between Paul and Tyson has also been marked by playful exchanges and jabs. Tyson has referred to Paul as fat, a comment Paul brushed off, asserting that he maintains an iron chin capable of withstanding Tyson's power. Their banter adds an element of humor to the buildup, making the fight even more intriguing for fans.
As the fight date approaches, both fighters have committed to intense training regimens. Tyson's camp focuses on restoring his legendary speed and power, while Paul's team ensures he is in peak physical condition to handle the veteran's experience. Paul highlights his recent victory over Ryan Powerland, who was stopped in the first round, as evidence of his improving skills and readiness for Tyson. The event promises to be one of the most watched boxing matches in recent history, attracting not only boxing enthusiasts, but also a broader audience curious about the clash between a YouTube sensation and a boxing legend. Social media buzz and media coverage have amplified the anticipation, with fans eagerly discussing the potential outcomes and implications for both fighters' careers. In interviews, Jake Paul has reiterated his belief in his ability to defeat Tyson, emphasizing that a knockout victory would crown him as the king of boxing. He sees the fight as a historic opportunity to earn unprecedented respect within the boxing world. Conversely, Tyson remains focused on his preparation, downplaying concerns about the age gap, while acknowledging the challenge Paul presents. Logan Paul, while supportive of his brother, remains apprehensive about the risks involved. He emphasizes that Jake has much to lose, especially given the high stakes of facing a legendary figure like Tyson. Logan fears that a loss could tarnish Jake's reputation, but Jake remains confident, asserting that he has the skills and mental fortitude to handle whatever the fight entails. The anticipation surrounding the fight is palpable, with fans speculating about the strategies both fighters will employ. Tyson's experience and knockout power are seen as significant advantages, while Paul's youth, reach, and recent improvements in boxing are viewed as strengths that could tip the scales in his favor. The contrasting styles and backgrounds of the two fighters add to the intrigue, making this bout a must-watch event. As the fight date nears, discussions about the potential impact on boxing continue. Some believe that the event could revitalize interest in the sport, attracting new fans and showcasing the blend of traditional boxing prowess and modern influencer appeal. Others worry that it might detract from the sport's integrity, viewing it as more of a celebrity spectacle than a true athletic competition. Regardless of the opinions, the fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson is set to be a landmark event in the boxing world. It embodies the intersection of old-school boxing legends and contemporary digital-age athletes, highlighting how the sport is evolving in the modern era. The outcome of this fight could have lasting implications for both fighters, shaping their legacies and influencing the future landscape of boxing. Fans from around the globe are gearing up for November 15th, eager to witness whether Jake Paul can fulfill his destiny by defeating Mike Tyson or if Tyson will reaffirm his legendary status by overcoming a younger challenger. The event promises intense action, emotional exchanges, and a showdown that transcends generations, encapsulating the essence of what makes boxing a timeless and captivating sport. In the lead up to the fight, various media outlets have been covering the training camps, personal stories, and the emotional stakes for both fighters. Interviews reveal the personal motivations driving each athlete, Paul's desire to cement his legacy and Tyson's passion for proving his enduring prowess. The narrative of an underdog influencer challenging a storied champion adds a compelling layer to the fight's appeal. Moreover, the involvement of platforms like Netflix underscores the fight's significance as a cultural phenomenon. By streaming the event, Netflix ensures that it reaches a diverse and vast audience, further blurring the lines between traditional sports and entertainment media. This partnership highlights the evolving nature of how major sporting events are consumed and marketed in the digital age. As the fight approaches, the boxing community remains divided yet intensely interested. Traditionalists debate the fight's legitimacy, while others embrace it as a necessary evolution to keep boxing relevant and exciting for new generations. The discourse around the fight touches on broader themes of authenticity, commercialization, and the future direction of boxing as a sport. 
In conclusion, the upcoming match between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson on November 15th is more than just a boxing match. It is a symbolic clash between different eras, styles, and philosophies within the sport. Paul's ambition to become a boxing icon and Tyson's relentless drive to showcase his enduring skill set the stage for a historic confrontation. Whether viewed as a legitimate athletic contest or an entertainment spectacle, the fight is poised to captivate millions, leaving a lasting imprint on the world of boxing. As both fighters finalize their preparations, the world watches with bated breath, ready to witness a fight that could redefine their careers and influence the trajectory of boxing for years to come. The stage is set, the fighters are ready, and the anticipation continues to build towards what promises to be one of the most talked about events in recent boxing history.